In a flashback, Charlene Charlie McGee is a newborn sitting in her crib when she uses her pyrokinesis skill to set the room on fire, alarming her father Andrew Andy McGee. A doctor in a clinical trial tells a young Andy and his girlfriend Victoria Vicky Tomlinson that they will be given an injection of the experimental chemical drug LOT6, which will secretly grant them supernatural abilities, Andy gains telepathy, and Vicky gains telekinesis. This conversation takes place in a different flashback. Charlie is seated at the kitchen table in the present, having just experienced a nightmare. Charlie reveals that because she has been suppressing something negative, her powers have become more unstable, and her parents have joined her. As a result of her unintentional explosion of a bathroom stall in a fit of rage over bullying, she causes a commotion at her school. Andy is seen using his ability, the push, to persuade a client to give up smoking, despite the fact that the pressure makes his eyes bleed. Captain Jane Hollister, head of the DSI, is keeping an eye on the thermal signals Charlie's outbursts are leaving behind in a covert facility. Dr. Joseph Wanless, who developed Lot 6 and the superhumans it produced, urges Hollister to get rid of Charlie before her abilities deteriorate. John Rainbird, a fellow superhuman, is enlisted by Hollister to help her. When Rainbird enters the McGee home, Vicky tries to defend herself by using her suppressed telekinetic abilities. As she and Andy enter the house, Rainbird overpowers her and kills her while holding Charlie at knife point. He is overpowered by Charlie's abilities, and she unleashes a concussive burst of flames throughout the home. Charlie and Andy drive off in their truck. They come across Irv while traveling. They hitch a ride with Irv, stopping at his house along the way after using the push to persuade him to drive them to Boston. Irv flies into a rage when Charlie unintentionally stumbles upon his paralyzed wife, but later admits that he sometimes overreacts. Irv spends the entire night up watching a news report about the incident at the McGee residence, which Andy is accusing of being a murder. Before Andy reveals to Irv that he is only acting to protect his daughter, Irv and Andy dispute. Irv relents and tries to protect Andy and Charlie when the cops show up as a result of his earlier emergency call after Charlie tells him his wife has forgiven him for the accident that left her paralyzed. Prior to the arrival of the black trucks carrying Charlie and Andy, Rainbird emerges from the bushes, murders the police officers, and then shoots Irv in the knee. Charlie can flee to a wilderness if Andy can trick Rainbird one last time. Before borrowing a bike and some clothing to follow her father's psychic communication to her from his bike, Charlie spends time honing her fire abilities at DSI. Charlie locates DSI and steals a pass card from an agent. He tells her he doesn't have a gun and begs her not to kill him. He pulls a gun to threaten her, and she murders him. To get to the restricted location where her father is being held, she descends a steep stairway. When she enters her father's glass-fronted cell, Captain Hollister warns her not to try to set herself on fire lest she also set her father on fire. Charlie is informed by Andy that Rainbird, not he, made the telepathic call for her. He apologizes to her and then mentally compels her to set the entire building on fire, starting with Hollister and himself, because he can see no other way out. Charlie, who has since gone rogue, ignites both, mentally unlocks every security door, and then proceeds through the building killing everyone. When Rainbird's holding cell is unlocked, he is let out. Men in fire suits manage to catch Charlie without harming him. When Rainbird shoots the men from behind, they are about to take her down. He submits to Charlie and bowed before her verdict. Before burning the remainder of the building down, Charlie spares him after seeing herself in the mirror and recognizing that the DSI is also in control of him. Last but not least, Rainbird and Charlie are seen strolling along a beach. Charlie lets Rainbird carry her and they walk off into the darkness together realizing they are the last two people left in the world.